How you doing? This is Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures, and today I have a very special program for you. I am joined today by John Thomas, who you may know from my hunting book, Becoming a World Class Hunter, and also Tammy Thomas. Um, so we have a special program in that this buck right here was an anomaly. There was something very unique about this buck in that it's, I have to just say, the, the sack, the testicle sack on this thing was about the size of a football. And uh, we just, we have to hear the story. <laughs> and so, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little background from you guys and then we'll show the actual footage of you shooting this nice buck. And then you, know, you can tell us a little more about it. So John, first of all, tell us a little bit about the property you guys picked for this hunt. All right, so, well, we, we've had the property for about three years. It's about 200 acres in our town. Um, it's basically all farmed with fingers of woods that surround each field. When Tammy decided she wanted to enter the hunting life with me, uh, we, we searched for a tree that we could hang two hang-ons on. And the problem was that the only trees that would work would be in these little hedgerows in between each field. And I just really wasn't feeling um, that location for that spot. Right. So we kind of just stumbled upon this pine tree that uh, we kind of overlooked the first time walking in that field. And then we were like, man, we could probably hide in that. Right. And that's what we did. We, we climbed up it. We made sure we could get two stands in there. And then we combed the area. We found tons of sign, which we just totally overlooked. Right. And that was it. That's how we picked our so spot. Now, what was the, Tammy, what was the date of this hunt? November 8th. November 8th. Was yes. it, did you guys hunt this stand at all before that, or was this your first time in the stand that night? No, we had hunted it before. Okay. Um, I wasn't working at that time, so we had a lot of opportunity to hunt that year. I had um, hunted it the year before, and I got my first deer the year before, okay. and this was my first buck. First buck. So. Yes. Now, did, so you've seen, obviously you got a deer out of that stand, so you were seeing deer. It's November the 8th. What was the deer movement like? How long were you in the stand the night of the, the harvest where you got this guy? How long were you in the stand for? We were in the stand that night for about three hours. And I was ready to go. Yeah. Now, <laughs> it was, was it getting dark? I mean, it was. Okay. It was getting dark. Um, like I said, I was ready to go. He was always the one that had to stay till the very last second. It only takes a second to change. Right. right. So it's getting dark. And uh, who spotted? There was a deer. What was the first deer that came out? What did you see first? Well, they, they kind of caught us all by surprise okay. because they should have been out about 20 minutes prior. They're, it's like they work like clockwork. Yeah. We've been hunting that stand for two years. We know the movement right. there. And we kind of both looked back at the same time and Tambo was like, there's, there's deer. Right. So I look back and there he was. All right, well let's roll the footage here and then I want to get a little bit of your feedback from you guys of your thoughts afterwards. All right.
He's big. What's big is this? His nut sack. <laughs> Holy <laughs> balls. <laughs> what the f is that? I don't know. That's a good buck, though, baby. Yeah. That's a good buck. Okay. I'm pretty sure you hit him. Oh, God. Pretty sure you hit him. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, that was huge. <laughs> I've nothing like that. It's almost like, it's almost like a deformity. Oh, I tell you what, you were pretty calm. Yeah. I can see, feel it. I can see it shaking right now. Yeah. My heart was about to pop I wasn't out of my shaking chest. Then. I'm shaking now, but. Oh. <laughs> as soon as she got dead walked by, I knew it. He was got a combo He's going to follow her. Which, what pin did you use? The third. No, between the second and the third. You should be good. Yeah. You should be good. I mean, it, it sounded like it hit him. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. All right, so obviously that was crazy and exciting at the same time. What was going through your mind when this buck walked out? Like, what were you thinking at that moment in time? I was um, scared it wasn't going to come in front of us, first of all. Uh, a lot of the deer, we had two paths that they would take. One would either go behind us, and it would have been in a lot of brush and through the trees, and I probably would not have had a shot. Right. So I was really happy when I saw the doe heading in front of us right. instead of behind us, because I, we kind of figured right. he was going to follow. Right. Um, when we first spotted him, he was across the field. And obviously, as you saw in the video, he had a very large sack right. underneath of him. We didn't know what it was because he was so far away right. when we spotted him. I think him. we were joking around earlier. Didn't you say you thought it was a, another leg or something, I didn't John? Know. I, third <laughs> leg? I, we, we yeah, because you just said this large. We yeah. had no idea. Yeah, like, what is that? So, I mean, so, okay. So, so then what? So, where he was, he was across the field. He was actually behind the way that I sit. Right. So, when we first saw him come out, I was able to see him. But as he was coming across the field, I could not see him because right. I was standing up and couldn't see. Right. And I wanted to be ready for when he came in front of us. Right. So I was nervous, but at the same time, I couldn't see him. So it helped my nerves right. stay a little right. calmer. Right. So after the doe walked by, I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. And he kind of told me he's he's almost here. Right. So, yes, I was nervous because he was big. Right. First he, buck. Very, yeah, he's a very nice buck. Uh, mm -hmm. And now, did you have a range finder with you? Uh, what, what, how did you guess the yardage on the shot? No, we had um, done some tests with range before, okay. prior to, so I knew it was about 30 yards away. Okay, so you got a 30 yard shot on your yes. hands. And, and, the, and her first button buck was only five yards closer to us mm -hmm. than he was. Okay. So she, Almost in the same exact Almost spot. Almost in the same so spot. So you're familiar. Oh, that's cool. All right. So obviously, when we were watching the footage there, uh, there's some some bright language coming out. I mean, John, what was going through your head at that point in time? I mean, uh, I mean, it's, I've been hunting a long time, and uh, to me, I found like a new passion with right. watching her take her first couple of deer, right. which. The adrenaline rush is just yeah. as strong yep. as shooting it yourself. Yep. It was unreal. Yeah. And, but yeah, once you once you I was, as you can see in the video, I knew exactly what was going on, <laughs> and I couldn't so, believe what I was seeing. All right, so you guys, it, you get you get down out of the stand. Okay, tell me about the track. On, well, like, what happened? Now you, I remember in the footage you were like, "Did I hit it?" Obviously, you could hear. Bam! You hit it. So we were shook up. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think it was my nerves, right. and I was just so excited. I, I didn't know if I hit him or not. I wasn't sure. Right. So when we climbed out of the tree, right, we started looking right where we thought he was standing when I hit him. We didn't have any blood. So then we knew about where he went into the woods across the field. So we started looking there. Well, we didn't see anything. But then we found where it were was. Were you like starting was... to loot, get depressed at that point in time? Like, oh man, we're not going to find yes. this deer. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people out there can relate to that feeling. Well, there was no arrow. We, yeah, we had no idea that arrow. he didn't Nothing. shake the arrow. Um, and it was, you know, it was low light, so it happened so fast. I'm paying attention to the camera. Right. And, and the deer at the same time. So I, I heard it, but I couldn't see if it was a pass through, if it was a good shot. Right. right. What? So. 
when we didn't see the arrow, I was like, oh man, I'm, yeah. I hope she didn't catch shoulder. All right, so you're walking around the woods, you're not finding blood, and then is there a point in time where you, you found some sign? Obviously we know you found some something at some point. What happened there? So we walked a little bit um, Further up, up, field. up field, and we found blood at the entrance where he actually went in. We thought it was down a little yeah, okay, farther. You, yeah. And as soon as we found that, it was good blood from yeah. there out, and he didn't go very far at all. So it looked like on the angle you, you came in a little bit in the guts and got up into that liver. Possibly even caught back of a lung or something. No guts, that. straight liver. Straight liver shot. Okay. Yeah, um, he was. He, it's hard to see in the video, but he was cording away just yeah. a tad. Yeah, he was. So, um, so that's what it is. But I did the job. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all right. So now you you've got the deer. You bring it home. It's it's processing time. Hmm. I, I, now, John. I mean, were you, were you nervous at all when it came to like eating the deer? I mean, were you thinking anything? We. we like, is this going to affect me the way it, something affected this guy? I mean, what's going through your mind there? Uh, gotta get the ER. <laughs> nah. So yeah, we, had, we we told you to the butcher. We were very skeptical about it, yeah. but we were just like, you know what? We told him what was going on. Obviously, we didn't have him with us, which I wish we would have. We should have kept them. Right. And um, they took their time with it. And, and, and by them, he's referring to the testicles of the buck. You didn't have them with you. Right. Well, we could have made like a really sweet door knocker with them or something. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I, John, Tammy, thank you so much for um, you know sharing this story with us and everybody out there. It's I think it's a special story. You know, one, it's your it's your first buck, but two, it is an anomaly. It's something so out of the ordinary. I, I kind of view it as God's got a sense of humor too. A lot of people don't think that way, but I do. It does make it does make us like laugh a little bit because it's it's out of the ordinary. So if there's anybody else out there who has a story that's out of the ordinary and would like to do a video like this, send me an email. Go to my website, seansoutdooradventures.com. Let me know. And once again, Tammy, congratulations on thank this awesome you. deer, John. Thank you so much. And till next time, take care and God bless. Oh, and hey, if you'd like to check out the outtakes, make sure you click on the link for it in the description section of this video.